welcome back to my channel this is mariam and uh, today we are going to be doing some glowy kind of makeup that is very natural at the same time you know so i'm going to be using mostly cream products today so yeah what are you waiting for let's dive into this i'm going to be using first aid beauty moisturizer i find it really good as a primer too because it hydrates so well if you if you have a dry skin this is so good for you they do have a hydrating primer as well. I haven't tried it, but I am so intrigued to try it because it is so good. Even moisturizer is so good, so I'm looking forward to the primer as well. Okay, I'm so dried up right now. I don't know why, but I am. I need to hydrate myself a bit. Just in case you don't know, my skin is combination. So yeah, I don't know why it is dried up right now. I think the weather is drying outside maybe who knows also you can see my eyes are really swollen up before you know filming this video uh, my eyes were like red due to allergies i don't know why what i'm allergic to exactly no idea i'm gonna be using like a lot of uh, highlighters today because i want to be like really 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 glowy that's the point of this video right like glowy kind of look this is the video for you next i'm using l'oreal magic lumi liquid highlighter um, uh, you can like, put it on your face you can mix in with your foundation but i'm just like putting it on high points of my cheek right now with my fingers because fingers are your best friend i'm putting it on my t-zone as well Yes, and my cheekbones. I'm using Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser to blur out my pores, concentrating it mostly on the areas where I do have pores. I don't have very large pores, but yeah, it works for me. I mostly have like pores in this region, pressing it up a bit. So, yeah, I'm gonna be taking this foundation, Milani Conceal and Perfect. That is like satin finish, not too dewy and not too matte. So yeah, that I really love it. I'm mixing this foundation with this oil. A restore sample by Aura Craft. Restore oil that is meant for oily skin. This is a sample product that I'm using. It's a full coverage, medium to full coverage kind of foundation. But for this look especially, I like using it with sponge to make it like more sheer coverage. And it gives a very 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 beautiful finish yeah taking it down to the neck and dabbing 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 but just in case you guys don't know it's it's a wet sponge so yeah you can see it gave me the most beautiful like wet looking kind of look on my face and you would be like thinking yeah it's you have used oil it would be like ah greasy but it's not a greasy mess this oil from aura craft is basically meant for uh, oily skin so it's a good one i really like it and i kind of like its smell too it has a very different kind of scent that is like very strong but i like it <laughs> next i'm using elegant pro concealer in orange shade to color correct my under eyes uh, you can clearly see i haven't slept my eyes are like swollen due to allergy i ha had been rubbing my eyes like whole night due to itchiness and i i don't know i can't fix it then this morning i bought like eye allergic eye dropper kind of a thing and that worked thankfully <laughs> so yeah i'm not gonna be going for full coverage but I'm gonna be using something there because I have like panda eyes. Now I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade 20. Yes, I initially I never liked this concealer, but uh, now I do, and I cannot stop using it for some reason. <laughs> Maybe because I know now uh, how to use it. Maybe because of that. So basically, if I'm not liking something today, I might like it tomorrow. You never know. I'm gonna be using all the cream products first and then a little bit of powder using this product nars Kagi highlighter is my like favorite one this made me fall in love with liquid highlighters highly recommend this one I'm dabbing it with my fingers 
gives you a very beautiful subtle sheen i'm using elf aqua blush and bronzer duo i'm using my fingers because mostly i'm using cream products so i can use beauty blender too like i'm just bronzing up a bit with this nothing intense just to give my face a little bit of dimension now using this blush with my oh my god that's intense <laughs> i'm gonna be looking like wrong that's not what i was going for but yeah like, let's fix it <laughs> yeah you can see this is a little tip that if if you go a little overboard with things you know makeup stuff you can always use this even if you get a little bit overboard with powder blush you can use this too you can tap off this and you can see the difference you know see the difference this is what i applied initially and this is what i have now so yeah i need a very little bit of blush not too much like something very natural because that's why we are going for a glowy natural look i really want to brighten up my uh, under eye so for that i'm taking wet n wild mega glow contouring palette in shade caramel toffee using this with the brush tapping it off and very lightly dusting it now i'm using rimmel stay matte powder in shade transparent with the same brush i just used the good thing about stay matte powder is it mattifies you but it doesn't it doesn't look powdery on your face the face is almost done i'm using the sheer luxy brow pencil in shade 08 i'm not doing anything intense on my brow because i already have my brow in shape today just filling in a bit and it is like the easiest pencil to use on earth using again from luscious brow luxy brow gel i don't know how to how to say that luscious luscious i call it luscious i don't know luscious oh my god is it luscious i call it luscious so i'm using rebecca bonbon single shadow there were three shadows and i build up a stack of it the shadow i'm going to be using somewhat looks like this i don't know if you could find this brand anywhere or not but this was like so cheap so the shade is somewhat like this and i'm using again my fingers you don't need brushes in this tutorial except for putting powder you can put a primer underneath this if you want to an eye primer a good one now i'm using colourpop super shock highlighter in the shade wisp to highlight my brow bone and inner corners You can always use your pinky fingers if you don't have a brush, but trust me, you can get away with this look without using brush. Now I'm using Physician Formula Extension and Mascara. It's supposed to give you a length. This mascara, I'm not a fan of extensions. I really like, but I am not a fan of this mascara because it is like super gloppy looking. But I like the band of it because it's like curvy and it makes your lashes curl. You cannot really see it on my lashes because I do I don't have any. I barely have any lashes. Comment down below if you can relate. <laughs> if you can relate to me. If you have no lashes at all like me, comment down below. Kara, now again I'm using. Oh my god. it it makes my lashes look so big because of these extension fibers you call it fibers so i i'm not using this on my lower lash because you know i don't know every single mascara tends to mess with my under eye i clearly don't like that one for my under eyes I'm done with my mascara and I'm moving towards the last step of this one. Using TT Cosmetics cream lipstick in the shade Pretty Pink today. The packaging of it it is so good. It is so cool. I absolutely love it. It's all glittery and glamorous. Oh my god. My type. So my type. <laughs> you can always use my code GWM10 to save up some cash. 
I am gonna be lightly dabbing it this lipstick on my lips doing I'm using my fingers once again doing this because I don't wanna apply too much uh, yeah I'm almost done this, this is the finished look finished look but we have this oil blotting papers from cool and co you can use any any blotting paper technically and if you think you are like super oily what you can do if you don't want to use powder for this look then you can totally use blotting powder instead and you can see how amazing and pretty and natural and glowy this look is this is my finished look and if you like it and you learned something from it then don't forget to give it a like and also don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button right below yeah i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video Mwah.